Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey, uh, and welcome to Weekly Tips, where we're putting some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today, joined by me, Daniel, as we delve into a little topic and monkey around to see me drawing a lemur. Uh, now, this is focusing on the ringtail lemur. There are other lemurs out there. Uh, most know you know the ringtail lemur uh, so yeah let's delve into to drawing that uh, see how playful we get and yeah see you there yeah so we're starting off here with our first approach and I'm just kind of going through the form and kind of drawing the contour of the first drawing so I'm drawing the top right or left hand the top left hand drawing well image there of the lemur now I've done a little bit of research um, with finding the, the reference for my lemur. Um, I'd want a full body image, so nothing kind of cut off. If something is cut off, something simple like the tail. Um, other than that, I'd just try and get the whole body image pretty much. Maybe a little bit of pieces missing through you know them standing or something and things like that. Now you can see me breaking it up a little bit more here. You know, I started out with this huge kind of hump for his his back, um, and then you know I broke it up and be like, well, no, with the, his head, um, he wouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't be going that way. Um, so I figure these things out as I keep going, keep drawing them, um, and then there few goes, and it find it takes me a little while to kind of. Uh, find the overall body shape and you'll see me go go back here and draw over the overall body shape And I'll talk about that once we get into that now, you know, I usually um, Usually have a gray background in most of my drawings and paintings and things that I do and Sometimes, you know, I, I just do white because you know white <laughs> <laughs> it's it's usually the default there so I don't really go and change it all the time and I'm used to kind of drawing on white you know white paper there's not really gray paper out there but you know um, <laughs> I'm used to drawing on white so you know that's kind of uh, where it comes from but it's also great to um, you know draw on gray background because it's easier if you want to make a three tonal study with it um, as well as it can be at least daunting if you've got a grey background to draw on a grey background because it's already like smudge <laughs> so you can't smudge it anymore um, you know here I'm yeah I've got the first body shape here the first drawing that I've done of this lemur and you know you got to look at the key features you know the big head um, the kind of kind of longish nose and you can see that more in this side view and here I add the grey in and it's here because you know a lemur mostly is grey um, a big part of it is yeah the ringtail lemur is a grey the most you know that and that kind of orangey grey colour too that they do have on their coat but mostly you know their body's made of grey so you know if you have a grey it's really easy just to add your whites and your your blacks um, easy um, because it can be you know useful to have that in there uh, because you know it, it makes it look the drawing look better if you've got um, you know f like filled in eyes or something you know like that you know when you've got a drawing and you actually fill the pupils with black it looks better than just circles you know um, that kind of thing if the kind of the rings on the on the tail are filled black it, yeah it, it makes more sense um, and you know those things work out if they're just lines they don't exactly um, you know ju it just looks like lines and doesn't exactly fit the whole picture so having that black and having that white um, those three tones black white grey in there does help to, to um, push up the drawing a little bit and make your drawing a little bit more readable without you know doing a full tonal kind of rendering of it 
it's just a quick little add to it. You've already graded it all up, so you just need to add white and black. And it doesn't take long, it's only like two or three minutes it took me to um, add in the whites and the blacks, really. Um, just to check, you know, check your drawing looking good, things are in the right place, it does kind of help to, to have that there, that can add, just add white and black. Um, rather than painting, you know, with this uh, creature, the lemur, you'll be painting most of it grey, so you've got a lot of painting, where with white and black, adding just white and black, you don't have much white and black to add. Um, but it's helpful. And yeah, here I am, I show you, you know, I break up the whole image, and this is how I kind of break up the image. Um, you know, it's got this kind of triangular kind of head there and then it's got this overall kind of another triangle big triangle body as well as you can see um, this is the way that I look at it when I draw it I don't I don't exactly need to do that it is helpful if I do it first you know do this little uh, quick sketch um, gestural drawing of it um, but that's the way I'm thinking of it that's the way I see it before um, I do first approach it I get that overall shape now here you know you see me adding the white and the, and the black as well um, from that gray image um, just to yeah show me what it does look like um, fully drawn and if it fully makes sense it's very you know it's it's a quick drawing it's not taking me hours to draw or anything like that it's just kind of a quick drawing that I've got there so it is what it is and there you can see I've got the the drawings that I've done here um, this whole thing uh, this whole drawing process has took me 20 minutes to do um, so they are you know rough quick sketches each you know five or ten minutes of drawing per se I'd say um, in the end because one of them is doing the gesture drawings as well now yeah like I said the gesture drawing can be helpful to do before you do the actual full render of it um, which you know these aren't full rendered anyway so you know doing that does help to to bring it into doing the actual final drawing um, so hopefully you know you did learn a little bit about drawing these lemurs they are fun and interesting creatures there are some interesting poses out there of them and they are very you know they've got interesting characters they're, they're great to draw they've got these kind of little heads and, and big bodies per se C comparative you know the size of their head is can look really small um, but it's not as small as it seems um, but it just looked really really small compared to their body um, and with some of the poses they do give uh, they can make their heads look really really smaller so <laughs> you know they are interesting and fun creatures to draw uh, so hopefully you do have fun drawing them um, feel free to comment down below if this video helped you in any way or form if you enjoyed this video anything like that I'd love to hear from you guys Thanks for coming in, um, if you're subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing, and yeah, I will keep drawing everyone, I'll keep drawing myself, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.